Hallelujah. 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 That's what Jesus wants. That's right. Hallelujah. We couldn't die for ourselves. Oh, we couldn't save ourselves. No. So here comes God. Amen. Manifested. That's right. In the flesh. Hallelujah. Justified. By the Spirit. Right. Seed of angels. Preaching to the Gentiles. That's right. Believed on in the world. Oh, yeah. And received up in the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, listen. Hallelujah. Wonderful. You sinners. Wonderful, wonderful. You sinners. Hallelujah. Holiness is a gift yes. from God yes, to you. To you. Hallelujah. Amen. You may ask, what did I do to deserve such a gift? We ain't did nothing. Nothing. Amen. It's by God's mercy. That's right. Hallelujah. That's, right. That's all. By God's mercy. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, not by works of righteousness that we have done, Amen. but by His mercy. He saved us. That's right. By the washing of regeneration. Hallelujah. And renewing of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Don't ever hallelujah, hallelujah. treat this gift the wrong way. Amen. It's a good gift. It's a good gift. God's word is a perfect gift. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Every human yes, that hear the message of holiness, yes, God is presenting you yes, a gift yes, to acquaint you with Him. Yes, holiness will introduce you right. to your Lord. That's right. He'll make you realize yes. he's just one. That's right. There's none with him. Yeah. There's none besides him. Amen. There's none like him. Right. There's none equal to him. That's right. Search for the heavens alone. Spread above the earth by himself. Go ahead. Go ahead. That gift you will know. Go ahead. And you will understand. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Go ahead. Brothers and sisters. Go ahead. We owe God our life. Oh, yes. Everything. Everything. Amen. We breathe by God's permission. We eat by God's permission. You sleep by God's permission. Amen. You walk by God's permission. Oh, yes. You talk. You hear. You smell. Yeah. By God's permission. That's right. You have a roof over your head. That's right. By God's permission. Amen. You have food on your table. By God's permission. Hallelujah. God on high. Go ahead. Go ahead. On it. By God's permission. God's permission. Go ahead. Hallelujah. No man can accept this credit. No man, no man can accept this credit. That's right. All praises is due to God. That's right. The Lord of heaven and earth. Amen. Glory to God. Am I right? I said. That's the name of God. Hallelujah. What did he say? And Abraham heard this and knew that it was the word of Satan. Abraham. Jesus. Heard it and knew that it was and the he word knew. of Satan. Hallelujah. It was the word of the devil. Who endeavored to draw him aside. Wait a minute. The devil endeavored to draw him aside. To draw Abraham aside. From the way of the Lord. I told you. Amen. He endeavored Amen. to draw Abraham aside. From the way of the Lord. From the Lord's way. That's right. Right. Have Satan mm. ever came your direction yeah. in thought yeah. and in feeling oh, yeah. or in dream? That's right. That's right. To try to draw you aside from the way of the Lord. Because he know if you work on your mind and heart long enough, yeah. when you come to church, yeah. you're not there when you get there. That's right. You are too preoccupied yeah. with 
foolishness. Oh, yeah. Amen. And that foolishness becomes a distraction from you eating God's word. That's right. And you can't get from God what God wants you to have because mentally and emotionally you are preoccupied and distracted. That's right. Are you getting this? Amen. That's what the Holy Ghost brought today. Amen. And brother, it's good too. Oh yeah. Listen. And Abraham heard this. Abraham heard this. And knew that it was the word of Satan who endeavored to draw him aside from the way of the Lord. Yes. But Abraham would not hearken to the voice of Satan. Now, the only reason why Abraham will not hearken to Satan's voice was because he knew God. He knew. And he had enough experience with God to differentiate the sound of God from the sound of Satan. That's right. You have to have scriptural experience to recognize that which is of God and that which appears to be of God. That's right. Let me give you a better example. Elijah said. The Lord going to pass by. Yes, sir. And the man of God was on the mountain. The, mountain. Yeah. the scripture teaches us. Strong wind came. Rocks rent. Earthquake. Yeah. Fire came. But uh, the man of God knew God enough to know. He said God was not in the wind. Not in it. God was not in the fire. God was not in that earthquake. That's right. And remember, Jesus taught, he prophesied, there shall be earthquake in diverse places. Right. But at no time did he say all earthquakes God will bring. Right. He just said there will be earthquakes will. in diverse places. That's right. But at no time would he say the Lord would be responsible for them all. For all of them. Because in the book of Kings, the Lord was not responsible for that earthquake. That's right. Satan brought it. That's right. And Satan brought it. To distract the prophet. Yeah. But the prophet knew God enough to say, mm -hmm. God is not in the God wind. In it. God is not in that earthquake. Yeah. God is not in the fire. That's right. Then the prophet heard a small, still yeah. voice, spoke from heaven. Yeah. He got up and wrapped his face in his mantle yes. and came on out. That's right. That's right. It's wonderful. You have to have experience with God. Enough to know what he sound like, to know what he feel like, yeah. to know what he don't sound like, to know what he don't feel like. That's right. When you have this knowledge, then you will know whether you really got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's right. You will know it then. That's right. Whether that's the Holy Ghost speaking through you yeah. or whether you're going through the motion of things. Oh, yeah. You will know whether that man in the pulpit got an anointing from God or is he just making noise. That's right. That's right. To know this, you've got to have some divine experience with God and must have scriptural knowledge. That's right. To Listen, let me educate you. You cannot know God beyond what's written that's right even if you have a personal experience what can we experience that somebody did not already experience amen whatever happened to you somebody experienced it already that's right that's true the scriptures is our gps system to life yeah and the book says there's nothing new under the sun, under the sun. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Right. Everybody all right? Yeah. Listen. And Abraham heard this and knew that Good it was... In verse, brother. Still in Joshua chapter 23, now we're at verse 28. Yes. And Abraham heard this and knew that it was the word of Satan huh? who endeavored to draw him aside from the way of the Lord. Be able to recognize the sound of Satan mm -hmm. when you hear it. That's right. Because sometimes evil come wrapped in a package that look like truth. That's true. It's like someone send you a pipe bomb. Who send you a pipe bomb and write on a package, pipe bomb? Amen. <laughs> they wrap it up yeah. to make it look pretty and presentable right. to generate your curiosity. And you're like, oh, who send me this? Yeah. 
And when you unwrap it, why, good night. That's right. It'll push you to sleep. That's right. Listen. But Abraham would not hearken to the voice of Satan. Yes. And Abraham rebuked him so that he went away. Rebuke the devil. It is written, resist the devil. And he'll do what? Flee, Flee from, from him. him. But I can't resist what I don't recognize. That's right. The book teaches us don't be ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah. For me not to be ignorant of Satan devices, I must learn what the devil is, who the devil is. Now hold it right there. Amen. Who can give me the correct time? Because really, I actually can take this all the way to the evening. <laughs> give me Revelation mm -hmm. and give me Peter. Amen. Satan is called a roaring lion. Mm -hmm. Satan is called a dragon. Satan is called a serpent. Uh -huh. Give me a revelation. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's Peter I want. He walks right. about as a roaring lion. Right, right. Then I want Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. I believe in the ninth chapter where Satan is called a man. A man, that's right. First in revelation. And I want to describe all these things to you. Mm -hmm. Because Satan have a lot of time. And I also want the book of Corinthians mm -hmm. where he's called an angel of light. Angel of light. Uh, it's time for us to know the devil. That's right. That's right. Amen. If the book says don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, yeah. you have to know his character. Yeah. Satan is a transformer. Mm -hmm. More than meet the eye. <laughs> Amen. That's true. He is a deceiver. That's true. Satan is a shapeshifter. Yeah. Come on, say what? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, in the book of Jasher, mm -hmm. he came to Abraham Very as an old man. man. Right. But Satan ain't no old man. No. And then later on, we're going to read further mm. what he come to Isaac as. That's right. But right now, we want to introduce you to Satan. That's right. Show you his characteristics, some of them. Mm -hmm. And show you why he bear certain titles. Amen. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen good. First in Revelation chapter 12, and we're at verse 3. All right. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Uh -huh. And behold, a great red dragon. A great red dragon. Hey. Now hold it. Mm -hmm. Let's get cartoons out your head. You know, most time cartoons made the devil. Got on these red litars, tights, you know, tight suit with a big tail and horns in his head and a pitchfork. They always make them red. And being that they always make them red, preachers have taught for years, they told their church people it's a sin to have a red car. That's right. Because a red car represents the devil. That's the case of the sin to be black because the Bible called darkness sin. That's right. You're so foolish. Amen. So deceive of the devil out of hell. Mm -hmm. Come on, Williams. Cough it up, son. Revelation chapter 12 <laughs> and read verse 3. Yeah. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. There appeared. We want to break it down. Another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Now, Satan is called a great red, red, red dragon. Red. The reason why it's called red, because he's clearly seen. Right. Red is a bold color, That's right. so Satan have a bold spirit. That's right. Red, one scripture says, though thy sins be red like crimson. crimson. So sin is very bodacious, yeah. very clearly seen. Yeah. Satan is a uh, spirit that stands out, very arrogant, very bold, want to be seen and don't mind showing himself. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, that's why it's called red. red. Dragon is a reptile. And a reptile is considered a carnivore. Yeah. A carnivore is a flesh eater. Well, that's what Satan is. He's a flesh eater, meaning he consumed the righteousness of man and consumed the godly thoughts of man and consumed the godly characteristics of man. He consumed every will that man had that worked in man's favor to the glory of God. Right. So Satan consumed man's flesh and made man submit to his will. That's right. And every time Satan does something, it is not always by the act of force. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Satan, he just want you to cooperate. That's all. Even Satan, though, don't always force man, but just make man agree. That's right. 
Did he force Adam to eat? No. Or was it just dialogue between Adam and Eve? Right. Dialogue. dialogue. He agreed. Mm -hmm. Was it no force? No. Listen. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Uh -huh. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns. Listen. And seven crowns upon his head. And, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Isaiah, let's Isaiah. establish what the tail is. Hold Isaiah. it. Now, let me break down the tail. tail. When it says with his tail, he drew a third part of heaven, your carnal thinking would think the tail of the dragon or the tail of the sea in the kid. Have more than one meaning. That's right. You would look at it as back here. Right. The Bible is not talking about that. No, the third part of heaven, meaning he drew a third part of the angels, or he tricked, or deceived, or conned, or manipulated a third part of heaven, the third part of the stars, the third part of the angels. The angels are called stars because stars reflect light. Right. You don't see the sun at night. But you see the reflection of the sun at night as a result of stars. That's right. Now, the angels are the reflection of God. That's right. But if Satan can trick angels, yes, sir. what do you think he can do to you? Amen. Now, with his tail, Satan's tail is not in back of him. No. Satan's tail is in front of him. In Isaiah chapter 9. Did you hear what I said? Amen. Satan's tail is not in back of him. Satan's tail is in front of him. That's right. The book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 15. Oh, we're going to take you to this is Sunday school right here. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Give chapter verse again. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 15. Follow me. The ancient and honorable, he is the head. That's God. Mm -hmm. God is the ancient. Right. God is the honorable. honorable. For he's called the ancient of days. That's right. Uh -huh. And the prophet. The prophet means messenger. That teacheth lies. That teach lies. He is the tail. So with his tail, meaning with his message, right. Satan's message was lies. That's right. He said, I will be like the most high. Liar. Liar. That's right. But that message was so seductive and so convincing, a whole third host of heaven got on his side. So now it calls it to be written in the book of Revelation that there was war, war in heaven. In heaven. War in heaven. War in heaven, Michael and his angels, and fought his angels fought against the dragon. Against the dragon, and the dragon, and the dragon fought, and his angels, and his angels, and prevailed not, and did not get victory. Ne so neither was there a place found any more in heaven after the dragon was put out, after Satan was put out, after Abaddon was put out, after Apollyon was put out, after the accuser of the brethren was put out, put after Baal was put out, after the wicked one was put out, after the father of lies was put out, after Satan, Lucifer, the wicked one was put out. Right. John saw him coming out and said, Whoa! Woe unto the, unto inhabitants. the inhabitants of the earth! That's right. What did John mean? As I, I see what Satan done to heaven, and now he's coming to the earth to bring his same power and his same, same wickedness that brought confusion in heaven, now is coming to the earth! That's right. That's right. That's right. And look at the earth yes. now! Yes. They love Satan! Yeah. That's right. They manipulate our children through cartoons of black magic and wizardry and witchcraft so our children can love Satan. That's right. Do you know it's a sin to watch magic shows? Go ahead. It's a sin to watch magic be performed on television. brother. The Bible called magic sorcery. Oh, and the Bible said, I suffer not a witch to live. That's right. We don't do magic tricks. Go ahead. That's right. In the days of Daniel, writing came on the wall, many, many to kill you fasten. Nobody could read the writing but Daniel. Who did they call? The astrologers, soothsayers, the magicians. That's right. But none could read the writing. That's right. The king said, Let Daniel be called. I 
an old man in thy kingdom. Yes, yeah. Walk on the holy God in him. It says light and understanding is able to dissolve hard sins. Daniel comes. Read the writing. Many, many to kill you fasting. After he read it, he broke it down to the king. Your kingdom is numbered. That's right. You found ways in the balance of found wanting. That's right. The scriptures is equal to a foreign language when you have no interpreter. Amen. The preacher is the one that God used to interpret the language of the scriptures so you can walk away and say, I understand. Yeah. Wonderful, brother. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. A man and a woman cannot change if they don't understand how to make that change. That's right. And go into these man-made churches, you will come out more dumber than you were for you winning, more confused than you were when you went in. But God give his preacher a learned tongue to speak a word to them that are weary in season. Break down the formula of the scripture so the Old Testament don't contradict the New Testament. You know in science, in science, they may take a test too. Fill it one formula. Take another test too. Fill it with another formula and mix them. That's what we have. Old Testament. New Testament. And mix them. So you can see Jehovah of the Old Testament is Jesus Christ of the New. That's right. That's right. Mix them. Not that it's two. Not that it's three. But it's one. Wonderful. You must have scriptural God given talent to decipher, analyze, break down, open up, make plain the language of scripture. That's right. That's why so many thousand writing us and say for the first time they understand the Bible now. Because it's made plain. We want people to understand it. That way, when you stand before God, you won't have no excuse. Amen. Huh? Amen. Anybody all right? Amen. So Satan, great red dragon. Red dragon. Now let's explain this tale of business. Right. Listen. Back in Isaiah. Isaiah. Back in Isaiah chapter 9. Come on, son. 15. All right. The ancient and honorable, he is the head. Uh-huh. And the prophet that teacheth lies. Yes. He is the tale. The first one that taught a lie was Satan. Yeah. Right. Now go back to Revelation. Let's see what else is he. Back in Revelation 12, now down at verse 9. All right. And the great dragon was cast out. The great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. It didn't just say serpent. Old Old. serpent. Old, Old. meaning his experience. Mm -hmm. And his deeds that he has been doing been around a long Long time. time. That's right. That old serpent, who is he called? Called the devil. And Satan. He's he's called the devil. Mm -hmm. And he's also called... Satan. Which deceiveth the whole... How much? The whole world. How much? The whole world. In the book of Genesis. Mm-hmm. What this book says about the serpent. Amen. Now in the book of I want to debunk what theologians have said and what historians have said. That the snake used to walk on his legs like a man. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You nut. <laughs> Amen. Snakes don't walk like men. No. Right. Well, Pastor Jennifer, if he didn't walk like a man, why would God cuss it and say crawl on his belly? Mm-hmm. We'll break that down break too. Break that down too. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm-hmm. You better, unless you get Genesis, you better get the book of Ezekiel so we can show you the status of Lucifer. Mm. I want to show you Lucifer's status. <laughs> That's right. A lot of folks think the devil always exists. The only one always exists was God. That's right. Only, always remember, the only one that always was around was God. That's right. The devil had a beginning. Mm-hmm. That Bible was certainly the Lord said, I create good and I create what? Evil. Evil. If something been created, it wouldn't always exist. That's right. Listen. Now in the book of Genesis chapter 3, we're at verse 1. Real quick. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. A comparison. Now he's talking about the natural serpent. Right. He was more subtle than any beast of the field. The reason why the serpent, the snake, the natural snake was because considered more subtle than any beast of the field because one thing about a snake is patient. Mm-hmm. It'll wait. Right. <laughs> and a lot of time because of the colors of its body, it blend in. It camouflage. That's right. And sometimes the prey go back and forth, be right next to the snake. Mm-hmm. 
And then at the appointed time, the snake strike his prey. Right. Uh -huh. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Yes. Which the Lord God had made. Yes. And he said unto the woman, he said to the God woman, said, didn't God say? You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Mm -hmm. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Yes. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not touch it, ye shall not eat of it. Uh -huh. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Yeah, now hold it. The Bible didn't say she ate an apple. No. Fruit. Fruit. It just says what? Fruit. I don't know whether it's an apple, grape, watermelon. Who knows? Could have been a yam. I don't know. That's right. But one thing I do know, the Bible did not say it was an apple. Fruit of the tree. When it says fruit of the tree, that simply means fruit is something that is produced on a tree. Right. Fruit is as a result of what was planted. That's right. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. All right. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, uh -huh. God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Yes. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Hold it. Lie. Lie. There he go. That's right. The Lord plainly said, You're going to die when you do it. Mm -hmm. Now look at the, con the spirit of contradiction. And the serpent Satan is the spirit of contradiction. That's right. Huh? That's right. Remember that. Remember that. Satan is the spirit of contradiction. Go ahead. So whenever you hear a man preaching and yet his message contradict that Bible, he's of the devil. Satan is the spirit mm. of contradiction. That's right. Satan is the spirit of biblical contradiction. That's right. He contradict God's word all the time. Mm -hmm. All right. And the serpent said unto the woman, What? Ye shall not surely die. Lie. For, Read on. for God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open. Truth. That's right. Amen. The day ye eat thereof, your eyes shall be open. Lie. Truth. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Lord said the day you eat, you're going to die. The Lord, yeah. the devil said, you ain't going to die. Lie. Lie. And then he come back and tell the truth. God doeth know that in the That's day. That's the split tongue of the serpent. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and, and ye shall be as God. Hold it. Amen. It didn't say you're going to be gods. As gods. I want to break this down, every part of it. Yeah. As, gods. As gods. As gods. Now, Satan understood what that meant. Right. When it says you shall be as gods. As gods. That means knowing good. Knowing good and evil. That's right. Someone said, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, didn't they already know good and evil? No, because evil wasn't there for them to know. Right. The only thing they knew was good. The Bible said there's none good but one, and that one is who? God. They wasn't tricked yet. Satan was working on them to be tricked. That's right. Evil was talking to them. Mm. Evil came to them through words. Mm. He introduced himself through words in a subliminal message to seduce them, con them, manipulate them. That's right. Okay. When, you, when it said they shall know good and evil, and evil, it was only then they would come to the knowledge of themselves. That's right. Because within man lieth good and evil. And evil. And evil. See, a lot of time a person don't know what they will do in certain circumstances until they got that experience. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. You get some folks say, well, you know, I've been born again now and... and uh, Lord, then took the cursing that I used to do out of my tongue. <laughs> I don't curse no more. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Praise the Lord. I don't cuss no more. All of a sudden, you know, they driving and someone cut in front of them. Why do so and so? They throw that finger up at them and everything. And that, oh, oh, Lord, forgive me. Call. Jesus. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. Before you make a declaration that you delivered from something, you need experience to determine whether you are delivered from it or you still wrestle with it. That's right. All right, be quick. For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Yes. And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Uh -huh. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, mm -hmm. and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and, what? and a tree to be desired to make one wise, uh -huh. she took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Yes. And the eyes of them both were open. The eyes of them both were open. And they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves When their eyes came open, they became enlightened. Yeah. Before then, they didn't know they was naked. That's right. They were walking around free. Mm -hmm. right. Not now. Mm -mm. Eyes open. In other words, they're now they know they're exposed. That's right. Now they know they're in sin. Mm -hmm. Real quick. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the Come garden. Come on, son. You got to read fast. Down in Genesis chapter 3, at verse 12. All right. And the man said, the, and the man said, 
The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Yeah. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? Mm -hmm. And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. The serpent shook me, and I ate. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, The Lord said to the serpent, Because thou hast done this, Thou art cursed above all cattle. And then what? And above every beast, and upon every beast of the field. Yeah, every beast of the field. And, and above every beast of the field. Uh -huh. Upon thy belly shalt thou go. Upon thine belly shalt thou go. And dust shalt thou eat now all the it. all the days of thy life. When it says upon thine belly shalt thou shalt go, go, that means Satan was cut down from authority. That's right. Brought low. That's right. Now he's on his belly. Mm -hmm. Being on his belly also means that the earth that he's on was given to him. Right. That's why Paul called him the God of this world. Now you shall eat dust. All the days of thy life. Wait a minute. You're going to eat dust how long? All the days of thy life. We are the dust. That's why Satan slither in and out around us, consuming kings and consuming queens and taking over kingdoms and taking over authority because Satan is in them, of them, and making them bow to him. And a lot of times they can't recognize him, so they mistake Satan for God. That's right. The moment Satan mentioned God, they don't see the devil. No, sir. They don't want to see the devil. That's right. Like the moment Trump mentioned God. That's true. They say he a Christian. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ain't no more Christian than I'm Donald Duck's cousin. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Amen. The moment someone mentioned God, you know, the rappers and these R&B singers can get a reward. They done made music cussing and drinking and shaking they behind and they get a reward. That's right. God made this possible. God ain't asked you to be out there shaking your rump. No. Half naked. That's right. That's right. Cussing about God, cussing about the Bible. Yeah. Want to kill your mama, want to kill your father and all that. God, that's not, don't blame that on God. God. But again, they call good evil and call evil good. So being brought to the earth, meaning his authority was brought down low. Give me the book of Ezekiel real fast. Now in the book the of Ezekiel sticking. chapter 28 and at verse 13. I want to show you how Satan had a beginning. Yes. And Lucifer was not always the name of Satan. Mm -hmm. Lucifer was the name of a righteous, holy angel. That's right. He did not become Satan until Satan was found in him. That's right. Listen quick. In Ezekiel chapter 28 and at verse 13. All right. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Yes. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the yonks, and the jasper. Yes. The sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle. And gold and the workmanship of thy tablets. And of thy pipes was prepared in thee. Don't you mean your pipes? Now, haven't you heard for church, from churches that Satan, Lucifer, was the choir director in heaven? Yeah. Have you heard that? They ain't never been in the Bible. No. These old preacher pulpit liars. Amen. Bible ain't never said the devil was in heaven directing no heavenly choir. No. Can you imagine the devil directing the choir in heaven? Amen. Amen. A fool and a good fool. It's a good fool. Do you hear the Bible talking? The workmanship of thy tablets and, and of thy pipes. And of thine pipes. Was prepared in thee. The pipes. Of the angel is the voice of the angel. That's right. The pipes of a man is the voice box of the man. That's right. It's the sound that come out the man. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. And of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Yes. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. He's talking about Lucifer. Lucifer. He ain't talking about the devil. No. It's talking about Lucifer before the devil. That's right. Thou what? Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. He was anointed. Anointed. If he was anointed, that means God was using him. That's right. Mm -hmm. and this is long before the devil. Right. Uh -huh. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Yes. And I have set thee so. God said, I set you like this. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. I had you on the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down and in the midst, of the, the midst of, of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in thy ways. Perfect. Perfect. At one time, there was no wrong, no sin, no wickedness, none whatsoever in Lucifer. Not in the devil, in Lucifer. 
right. Lucifer was simply the name of this angel. That's right. All right. That was perfect in thy way. Perfect in your ways. From the day that thou was created. What? Till. Wait a minute. What? Till. What? Till. What? Till. Till what? Iniquity was found in thee. Satan was discovered in Lucifer. Mm. That's right. To better understand it, remember Judas? That's right. That's right. Who was an apostle? Yeah. The Bible said, until yeah. sin yeah. entered into him. Yeah. He was a holy apostle. Yes. Until yeah. sin entered into him. That's right. So when Satan mm. got in Lucifer, yeah. Lucifer took something from Satan, That's right. and Satan took something from Lucifer. That's right. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Matthew. What did Satan take from Lucifer? His name. Yeah. What did Lucifer take from Satan? His character. That's right. Until now, one. A lot of folk don't even know about Lucifer before Satan was in him. That's right. All they know is about Lucifer, the devil. Mm. Are you getting this knowledge? Thou was perfect in thy ways. What, Tom? He was perfect. From the day that thou was created. What happened? Till iniquity was found in thee. Till evil was found in him. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee uh -huh. with violence. Wait a minute. Look at what was discovered now. Violence? And thou hast sinned. And you sinned. Therefore I will cast thee as profane. Out of the mountain of God. I got to get you out of here. I got to get all this wickedness out of here. And I, I got to get all this unrighteousness out. And I will destroy thee, O covering cherub. O covering cherub. From the midst of the stones of fire. So at one time, Lucifer was holy. Mm -hmm. had, authority, had authority. Until wickedness is found in him. That's right. That's the same way with us. Yes, That's it. right. Amen. When wickedness is found in us, Satan wanted to stay there so he can bring us down. Amen. I got to get some more of the characteristics and the attributes of Satan. Let's get the book of Peter real fast. Now in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 and we're at verse Now eight. another thing about the old serpent. Another thing about the old serpent. Let me give you another characteristics of a serpent real quick. And then we'll get the book of Peter. Mm -hmm. A serpent or a snake never kill its prey and eat from the feet. Right. It wraps around its prey, suffocated. That's right. And then what part do he start to consume first? Hey. Hey. He start with what part first? Hey. Hey. What part of you do you have the most problems out of? Your body or your mind? Mind. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Just as a snake wraps around the body to suffocate it, to eliminate its momentum, Satan wraps around your soul, your being, your scriptural intelligence to cripple your spiritual momentum so you don't do the things God wants you to do and choke out the righteousness of God that was in you. Yes. And then he start with your head by changing your thought process, your thinking, all the thoughts you had towards God. Now, naturally, when a poisonous snake bites you and interject venom, a lot of times it takes venom to fight venom. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's Is that right? That's right. They get an anti-venom right. to fight venom. Yeah. It takes God to fight the devil. That's right. You can't beat the devil. No. No way. It takes spirit to beat spirit. That's right. God is a spirit. Then not the apostle John said, I saw another mighty angel in his hand. Had the keys to the bottomless pit and the great chain in his hand. Lay hold of the old dragon and bound him in prison. Only the power of almighty God can bound Satan. These lying television preachers get on television and tell you the devil don't have no power. I don't care if you don't believe the devil have power. The devil calls war in heaven and he's causing war on earth and we all feel the effects of it. Amen. Amen. Why? Because we are fighting the powers of hell. Yes. All right, give me the book of Peter real fast. First now. Peter chapter 5 and at verse 8. Here's another characteristic of the devil. Read fast. Be sober, be vigilant. Because give chapter and verse again. First Peter chapter 5 and we're at the 8th verse. Be sober, be, be vigilant. vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil. What do you walk like? As a wrong lion. Doing what? Walketh about seeking whom he may devour. The devil's not a cat. No, no sir. So let us study the nature of a lion. A lion stalks oh, yes, sir. his prey. He studied it, stalk it. That's right. And if you know the thing about the animal field, the animal life, 
The lions first seek after the weakest one. That's right. And pray a lion, before it jump on the full male or female buffalo, it'll chase down the baby. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because the baby can't outrun the lion. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, the method of the lion, the cheetah, the cougar, all of them have the same method when they chase their prey. They run you down until you get tired. And then the lion hit the hind feet. The purpose of hitting the hind feet is to trip you. And when you trip you up and fall, the next thing that the lion do is pounce upon you. And the first thing the lion do is sink its veins in your neck. Yeah. The objective is suffocation. That's right. I don't care how strong you are. That's right. If your neck is being choked, Go ahead. your momentum mm -hmm. cease. That's right. That's right. That's right. Satan put a strong hold on you. That's right. So your momentum and God can get slower and slower mm -hmm. and slower until there is none. Right. This is how our momentum. We come to church, faithful, dedicated, <coughs> gave testimonies, I'm determined, sang songs, I'm determined to go through. <laughs> I'm determined to go through. Oh, my trial will be over. I'm the turn. You know, you know, old folk be putting all type of moans on me. Well, you got to do this lifetime. The book says, Know ye not that they which run in the race run all, but one receive the prize, so run that you may obtain. When you come into the knowledge of holiness, though, you can't run fast. You got to take your time because you got Satan as a roaring lion, you got Satan as a snake, you got Satan as a dragon, and you got Satan as a man. Many of the characteristics of Satan that is in the earth sometimes that's totally unrecognizable. My clock is ticking. Go back to the book of Joshua. Remember, Satan comes to Abraham as an old man, but Abraham knew that it was the devil. That's the main point. That's right. Now, let's see how Satan came to his son, Isaac. Now, in the, back in the book of Jasher, chapter 23. Quickly. And we're down at verse 29. All right. And Satan returned. And Wait a minute. For him to return, he had to be there before. Right. That's right. Now he comes back again. And Satan returned and came to Isaac. Yes. And he appeared unto Isaac in the figure of a young man. <laughs> now he comes to Isaac as a young man. He come in your generation, yeah. talk your talk, talk your language, appear to be humble, right. appear to be sincere, get on the choir, get on the instruments, be on godly. You'd run around in church, he'd run next to you, you'd run right past each other. <laughs> One running that way, the other run that way, get it, get it, get it, get it. They just run back and forth, not even hitting each other. You, it's passing. It's just passing. Mm -hmm. All right. And Satan returned. <laughs> Satan, come on back. And came to Isaac. Come to Isaac. And he appeared unto Isaac in the figure of a young man. And what? Calmly and well favored. Calmly and well favored. And he approached Isaac. He approached Isaac. And said unto him. I told you he's bold. Great red dragon, bold. bold. Notice he don't wait for, wait for you to strike up a conversation. No. Right. He approached Isaac. He just started talking. That's right. Uh -huh. And said unto him, doest thou not know and understand? Notice he couldn't get his father to change. Mm -hmm. So he figured he'd go to the son. Did you not know and understand? That thy old silly father. You're old. <laughs> he disrespect his father and insults him. Yeah. Yeah. Thine old silly father. Bringeth thee to the slaughter this day for naught. You know your pop coming to kill you? Now therefore. For nothing. He going to kill nothing. you for nothing. That's right. Never mind the Lord told him to do it. Amen. Amen. Never mind the Lord told Abraham to offer up Isaac. That's right. For naught. He come. As a young man, just like Isaac. That's right. He came as an old man, just like Abraham. That's right. All right. Now, therefore, my son, do not listen nor attend to him. That's the way this generation is to each other. Yeah. Not listen. I don't listen to that passage, Dennis. Mm -hmm. For you, know how many, you know how many letters I got from young children whose parents threatened to throw them out the house because they killed the children want to be baptized? My Lord. I got letters from young teenagers. Their parents threatened to throw them out the house mm. if they agree to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. I had one woman say she would rather that her daughter get pregnant and not married than they get baptized. Mm. Had a man say he'd rather that his son die 
get killed in the street than be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You parents are full of that devil out of hell, God. You were spawned by Satan. Amen. For only a brother or a father are children of hell to wish such wickedness on your son and daughter and hear all they want to do is be right. That's right. That's right. Get me. Now, therefore, my son, do not listen nor attend to him. Yes. For he is a silly old man. He's a silly old man. And let not thy precious soul. Don't let your precious soul. And beautiful figure. And, ah, look at him. Give him a compliment tonight. <laughs> That's right. He's pumping him up, ain't he? That's right. The devil pump you up. Amen. Uh -huh. And let not thy precious soul and beautiful figure be lost from the earth. Mm -hmm. And Isaac heard this. And said unto Abraham, Hast thou heard my father? Hey, Pop, did you hear? That which this man had spoken, uh -huh. even thus has he spoken. And Abraham answered his son Isaac and said to him, What? Take heed of him and do not pay attention to him. And do not listen to his words. Oh, Amen. Oh, Amen. Experience Amen. knew what the devil sound like. That's right. That's right. That's right. Experience. Knew what the devil sound like. Amen. Oh, this is beautifully outlined. Oh, yeah. All right. Take heed of him and do not listen to his words, nor, uh, nor attend to him, for he is Satan. Amen. Amen. He called him out, didn't he? Called him out. But let us remember, mm -hmm. Satan camouflaged himself. Yes, he did. As a young man. Mm -hmm. But the experience Abraham was able to see through it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Take heed to him and do not listen to his words nor attend to him. For he is Satan. Yes. Endeavoring to draw us aside this day. Glory to God. From the commands of God. He's endeavoring to draw us aside this day from the commandment of God. And Abraham still rebuked Satan. And Satan went from them. Satan went away. And seeing he could not prevail over them. He could not beat them. What did he do? He hid himself from them. Satan hid himself from them. And went and passed before them in the road. He went past them. Amen. He hid himself from Abraham and Isaac mm -hmm. and went past them. Past them. He went past them. That's right. Uh -huh. And he transformed himself. I told you he's a shapeshifter. Amen. Amen. He went from old man. To young man, young man, now he changed into something else. Listen. And he transformed himself to a large brook of water in the road. Mm. Ah. Oh, Amen. Transformed himself to a large brook of water. To a large brook of water. In the road. In the road. And Abraham and Isaac and his two young men reached that place. And what? And they saw a brook large and powerful as the mighty waters. Then what? And they entered the brook. And? And passed through it. They passed through it. And the waters at first reached the lake. Uh -huh. And they went deeper in the brook. Uh -huh. And the waters reached up to their neck. Uh -huh. And they were all terrified on account of the water. Hold it. That's something. Legs. Mm. Neck. Neck. Show you the different depths of Satan. Go ahead, Legs. Brother. I got to take it apart. Go ahead, man. Legs. Go ahead. Neck. Mm. The different depths Amen. of Satan. Amen. Being that the book says don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, mm -hmm. you have to know the depths and angles and areas of Satan. Go ahead. How he differ in his function right. but even though he differ in his function his function is always motivated for one thing to destroy that's right that's right ankle you don't take water serious when is that your ankle that's right <laughs> go ahead so a lot of time we underestimate the skill of Satan when he come at us with something that seems light, right. petty, that's right. It's not ever. It's not on a felony level. Mm. <laughs> we look at it as a Mr. Mr. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you understand? Go ahead. 
You know a felony is serious. Yes, oh, yeah. Mr. Mina. That's right. So a lot of us look at the water at ankle level, mm -hmm. meaning Satan come, you know, lightly, not right. no, seem too aggressive or too effective. That's right. So we don't take him serious. That's right. Even though that incident may require fasting and praying, but it's so light to us, we don't do it. That's true. So being that we don't fast and pray when the big thing comes, because we didn't fast and pray in reference to the little thing, we fail to be unprepared and unequipped mm. when the big thing comes. That's right. Because you was focused on how minor it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and they went deeper Glory. in the brook. Yeah, yeah. Went deeper in the brook. Now remember, it was Satan, so that means they went deeper in Satan. Mm. Mm. They went deeper in, in Satan. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. For Satan, let's read where he transformed himself again. Back in uh, Joshua 23 and verse 34. And Abraham still rebuked Satan, and Satan went from them. Yes. And seeing he could not prevail over them, he hid himself from them. Uh -huh. And he went and passed before them in the he road. He went and passed before them, and he went ahead of them. And uh -huh. he transformed himself. He transformed himself. To a large brook of water in the road. So if they was in that water, they was in Satan. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because he transformed, transformed himself. To a large to a brook. brook of water. A large brook. Large Lord Jesus. Water symbolized life. Mm. Yes, sir. But there's two lives. That's right. There's the life of God and there's the life of the enemy. Yeah. Listen. And they went deeper in the brook. They went deeper in Satan. And the waters reached up to their necks. Meaning they was deeper in trouble. Yeah. Deeper in peril. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the waters reached up to their necks. Then what? And they were all terrified on account of the water. Yes. And whilst they were going over the brook, uh -huh. Abraham recognized that place. Glory. Oh, how God keep dealing with this man. Mm. Abraham, re Abraham knew this brook wasn't here before. That's right. Yeah. Huh? Abraham recognized he that recognized place. He recognized this place. And he knew that there was no water he there before. There was no water here before. And Abraham said to his son Isaac. What did he say to Isaac? I know this place. I know this place. In which there was no brook nor there water. There was no brook nor water here. Now therefore. Now therefore. It is this Satan. It's the devil. That's right. Oh yeah. 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 This oh, Satan. He went from old man, mm. young man, Hallelujah. large body of water. Mm. Do you recognize him? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Is Satan always recognizable? Mm. Hey. Lord Jesus. Do he always give himself away? Mm. And before you start looking at others, yeah. you have to first look at yourself. That's right. Listen. Now, therefore, it is this Satan. It is this Satan. Who does all this to us to draw us aside this day from the commands of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He do all this to us. To draw us aside this day. Deceive you. Trick you. Make you weak. Yep. Make you break God's commandment. Yep. Make you lazy about praying. Lazy about fasting. Lazy about going to church. Backbite. Lie. Sneaky. Ungodly. Wicked. Unrighteous, speak against the truth, hard head, rebel against the truth. It is this Satan Hallelujah. who yes. does all this to us. He Hallelujah. do all this to us. To draw us aside this day. To draw us aside this day. From the commands of God. From what God ordered. And Abraham, and re Abraham. Abraham rebuked him. He rebuked him. And said unto him. What did he say to that body of water? The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan. The Lord rebuked thee. Satan. Be gone from us. Get away from here. For, for we go by. We go by the commands of God. We go by what God said. Hallelujah. 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 We go by the commands of God. What God said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us remember, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. The objective of Satan Hallelujah. is so Abraham and Isaac mm. will not go by. The commandment of God. And the commandment of God was Hallelujah. offer up Isaac. Yeah. Mm. And let me tell you about that ram that was in the bush. Mm. Hallelujah. That ram 
was predestinated. So you got to know what the ram represents. When Abraham put the wood on the altar, yeah. it was wood. Cause it be the man that hang up on the tree. That's right. So the wood being placed on the altar represent the cross itself. And the ram or the sacrifice that was predestinated mm -hmm. represent the predestination of the offering of the body of the Son of Man. That's right. Let's see how long was the ram predestinated. Now in the book of Joshua chapter 23. And we'll start at verse 69. Listen. At that time. At that time. The Lord appeared unto Abraham. The Lord appeared to Abraham. And called to him from and heaven. And called to him from heaven. And said unto him, lay not thine hand upon the land. Abraham was about to slay him. The Lord said, don't do it. Don't lay your hands on him. Neither do thou anything don't unto do him. Not, don't do nothing to him. For I know that thou fearest I know God you fear me. In, in performing this act. In performing this act. And in not withholding thy son, thine only son, from me. And, and Abraham lifted up his eyes. He lifted up his eyes. And saw, he and, saw and behold. And look. A ram was a caught ram in the was thicket caught by his in horns. The thick by his horns. This was the ram. Which the Lord God. This was the ram, the ram which, which the, Lord, the God Lord God had created he in the created earth? Created in the earth in the day in the day that He made heaven and earth. That He made heaven and earth. For the Lord had prepared this ram. The Lord did what? Had prepared this ram. He prepared this ram from that day. From that day to be a burnt offering. To be an offering instead yes. of Isaac. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Just like the ram was prepared from that day. Hallelujah. From that day. From that day. Give me the first chapter of the book of Peter. Peter. <laughs> Let's see what the Bible says about this sacrifice. Amen. How long was that around? That's right. First Peter. First Peter chapter 1. Lesson. We'll start at verse 18. Read fast. For as much as you know that you were not as redeemed much as with corruptible things. Know you were not redeemed with corruptible things such as silver and gold. From your vain conversation received by traditions from your father. But what? But with the precious blood of Christ. With, with the precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb. As of a lamb. Without blemish. Without blemish. And without spot. What? Who verily was foreordained. How long? Before the foundation of the world. I told you. Amen. Before the foundation of the world. But was manifest in these last times for you. From the time he made the earth, Hallelujah. that ram was prepared, prepared. But then it was manifested at a certain point in time That's right. for Abraham. For the Lord had prepared this he ram. He prepared the ram. From that day. From that day. To be a burnt offering instead of ice. To be a burnt ice. offering instead of ice. And this He ram. already had a plan Hallelujah. for that ram to be offered. That's right. And not Isaac. Hallelujah. The whole thing with Isaac was a test mm. for Abraham's faith Hallelujah. and Abraham's fear towards God. That's right. Wonderful. God Almighty would allow things to happen in our life to try our faith, to try our patience, and to try our humility. Accept the gift today Hallelujah. that God give you, which is his everlasting word. Don't turn it aside. Give up and give over to it. Accept it. Repent of your sins. Ask God to forgive you for all your wickedness. This is a good gift. When you repent, I won't have to fight with you to be baptized. Be sorry about every sin under the sun and ask God to forgive you. You ain't got to pray to me. Not between you and God. And then mean it. And get ready to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ so the Lord can wash your sins away and start walking in the beauty of holiness. Anybody want to accept this gift that God left here and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ to get your sins washed away and get on God's side once and for all, stand on your feet today. Wonderful. Come on, stand on your feet today. If you want to be baptized, stand on your feet today. Stand on your feet today. All of you that are standing. Go right out there in the hall, please. All of you that are standing. Go right out there. All of you that are standing. Go right out them doors there. All of you that are standing. Glory be to God on high. Repent.
Acts 2, 38 says, Acts two, verse 38. And be baptized, every one of you, then Peter said unto in them, the name of Jesus Christ, that's right. for the remission of sins, and you shall receive, and you the, shall gift. receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We have a gift to give you. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you want God to rule your life? Anybody else want to be baptized? And be right with God. Stand on your feet and come on and obey God. Well, Pastor Jennings, I bow my head and raise my hands. That's what a robber tell you to do. Yeah. <laughs> robber throw a gun on your back, bow your head, raise your hands. Right. Ain't no Bible tell you to bow your head and raise your hands. Bible ain't tell you to pray no sinner's prayer. No. Bible didn't tell you to join no fake church. No. The Bible says repent. Repent. This is what God want everybody under the sun to do, regardless of race, creed, and color. Give me the correct time, brothers. Hallelujah. Give me the correct time, please. Three oh six. All right, let me get ready to let you go because the next session starts at 5 o'clock. I'm going to let you go. You go get something to eat and come on back, and let's close this meeting out. God be our helper. Amen. We had a good meeting, God knows. Yes, sir. And let's all stand. Are the minister?